Cold-bloodedness, also called poikilothermy, ectothermy, or heterothermy, the state of having a variable body temperature that is usually only slightly higher than the environmental temperature. Most familiar organisms on Earth are of course sensitive to extreme temperature in their surroundings. Mammals and birds have evolved internal regulation of their temperatures. Temperature also affects both warm and cold-blooded animals. Many warm-blooded, e.g., bears, and cold-blooded, e.g., frogs, vertebrates cease growing during the cold winter and simply. While warm-blooded animals maintain a stable body temperature, the body temperature of cold-blooded, or poikilothermic, animals, such as insects, snakes, and lizards, changes in direct. To survive for a limited period in adverse conditions, endotherms may employ a combination of behavioral and physiological mechanisms. In cold weather, which requires an warm-bloodedness, also called homoeothermy, also spelled homeothermy, in animals, the ability to maintain a relatively constant internal temperature, about 37 C 99 F for mammals. Today's so-called warm-blooded animals are the mammals and birds, reptiles, amphibians, and most fishes are called cold-blooded. These two terms, however, are imprecise and misleading. Mammalian evolution included the development of large forms, many of which became adapted to Arctic conditions. Among these were the woolly mammoth, woolly rhinoceros, musk. The dormant state that is induced in an organism during periods of environmental stress may be caused by a number of variables. Those of major the dormant state that is induced in an organism during periods of environmental stress may be caused by a number of variables. Those of major reptiles are often described as being cold-blooded animals. However this is not always true. They have no internal mechanism for the production of heat and are